Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. a cat. Oh, come on! That doesn't look like a cat at all. Hmm. You guys, <laughs> look! Look what I just found sitting in the kitchen. I've seen these on the TV box, and this one's brand new. I love it, I love it, I love it! Anyone know what it is? Hmm. Easy there. Hello, people. It's a cell phone. This should be good. It goes ring, ring, and you answer it like this. <laughs> Must have been a wrong number. <laughs> there, squeaky clean. Which is more than can be said for Washington. Look at him. <laughs> Someone needs a B A T A. Huh? Booth? We should give the dog a booth? What would he do with a booth? A B A T A. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ah! Hear that? I'm getting a B-A-T-H! What is it? I have no idea. Well, time for a nap now. A B-A-T-H is, of course, a mechanical belly scratching device. Um... Here she is, the B-A-T-H 3000. <gasps> Get that a good doggy, good doggy. Or maybe it's a designer snack. Yeah. Would Sir like ketchup on his B-A-T-H? Actually, I think it's a car. A dog car. <sighs> you mangy fake mutt, B-A-T-H spells bath. A bath? With water and soap and medicated conditioner? <laughs> I'll be there with you, Washington. Cats don't get bathed, Ding Dong. They lick themselves clean. Mmm, yum! Tasty! Sam, don't you get it? If the Living Stones bathe me, they'll discover I'm a fox and that you're a big fat boar. <laughs> then it's back to the wild for us. No warmth, no shelter, <gasps> no cable! <laughs> <laughs> what are we gonna do? Hey, I'm trying to sleep over here. Kindly take this meeting of the minds outside. TV time! This is a nightmare. Do you need to get your meat machine squeaky clean? Yes! Well, then we'll are down to Ed's Mega Wash now! We're, We're coming, coming in! in. <laughs> <laughs> Victoria, watch Eugenie and Susie. <laughs> yeah, right. My next nap starts <sighs> now. TV's a better babysitter than me, anyway. Seen it! Seen it! Seen it! Seen it! Victoria, we're bored. <laughs> bored! Bored! <laughs> bored! Bored! <laughs> Quiet! Hmm? Who wants to play an awesome game? <laughs> this has to work. I don't want to go back to the forest. <sighs> <laughs> Yay! Clean yet, mister. Uh. <laughs> hey, no rush. I'm coming, buddy. It's 
simple. The first one to blink is the loser. Okay, hmm. we got it. Hmm, well played, Victoria. Ha! Close huh? your eyes! Loser, loser, loser! I'm not playing. I'm asleep. Just because you lost, you're pretending to be asleep. Come on, don't be a sore loser. Hmm, okay. Who'd like to go to the movies? Me, 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 me. That was worse than a hundred booster shots. Sam, I have to stay clean because I could not survive another bath. <laughs> <laughs> it won't be easy. <laughs> but I know I can do it. <laughs> it's a matter of life and death. <laughs> I can only rely on myself. <laughs> like everybody knows, Sam, you're born alone, you die alone. <laughs> Sam, are you going to eat that in front of me? I'm starving here. I'm trying to stay clean, and eating is a dirty, dirty business. Ditch it, Sam. Ditch it from me. Woo! The pair of trousers went swimming and got caught in a whirlpool. <gasps> oh, crazy bubble monsters! If you get hungry, call for pizza. Ah, <sighs> nap time. I just show my clean self to the living stones and it's bye-bye <laughs> bath time. <gasps> Dessert. Delicious, delicious. Dessert. Washington, no. Eating is a dirty, dirty business. I know, I know, but I'm hungry. And I can <laughs> smell it. Sweet dessert. Have mercy. <clears throat> Curse you, Belly, for leading me astray. I'll save you, Washington. Uh... I'm okay. I'm still squeaky clean. to wash Washington. I'll help you on one condition. You guarantee me 12 hours uninterrupted sleep. Deal! Sorry, kids, intermission! <laughs> Whoa, these glasses really work. <laughs> Washington! in here, and it smells chickeny. <laughs> Where is that dirty dog? I can't wait. <laughs> uh -huh. I can't find him, honey. Come on, let's stretch this back into shape. <laughs> oh boy, I need somewhere more sanitary to hide. Surprise for you in the bathroom! Okay, that's enough. Now, where's Washington? <laughs> Washington! Oh no! He said he was roasting in there! It's okay, I know mouth to mouth. Uh, Sam, that's a chicken. I wondered where that went. Then where's Washington? Washington? I think she's in the bathroom. <gasps> Washington? 
He started without us. What a good dog. Let's rinse off those bubbles. It's okay, Washington. This will be over in a minute. You've got to do something quick. Open one. Crazy bubble monsters! Save us! Save us! Save us. <laughs> oh, we get them out! Hang on a minute. All that foam smells mighty minty. Toothpaste isn't cat food, silly. <laughs> <laughs> Washington rinsed all by himself. He's squeaky clean. This photo's gonna look great in the pet gallery. We'll put it right next to Victoria's first hairball. <sighs> what a nightmare. I have taken my first and last bath. I thought foxes were supposed to be smart. Around here, dogs get a bath once a week. Oh, yeah. What? No! 12 hours uninterrupted rest. Guaranteed. <sighs> Washington, <laughs> it's a call for you. Stay away! <laughs> Take the message. I'm not home. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. can always sniff out a boar. In the wild, they can. Oh, Sam, what's happened to my foxy instincts? I've gone soft in the suburbs. Too many snacks and nasty. Hey, TV. You watch a lot of TV. Hello, furry huh? children. Who wants yum-yums? Wow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sam! <laughs> Sam, your tail. It's missing. <laughs> Who's hungry? We gotta do something. <laughs> Honey, are you seeing this? Yes, dear. <laughs> wow. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> my tail, my beautiful fat tail. Calm down. You still have your whiskers and your paws. But what happens if the living stones see? Well, worst case scenario, we get returned to the wild and eat dirt for the next 40 years. Huh? <gasps> yeah! Yeah! <laughs> Relax, I'm kidding. Okay, they can't have gone far. This just requires a little detective work. <laughs> Never mind. <clears throat> Eugenie, Susie, start with the couch cushions. Research shows that's where 72% of missing household objects hide. Okay, that's where I would hide. Sam. Washington? Uh, uh what does Sam's tail look like again? Okay. Ooh. Is it a hot dog? A dead flower? I know, it's a U-turn. It's a tail. 
Sam's tail, long, blue, <laughs> covered with fur. Ah, sure, we'll get it. Cemetery. <laughs> What's happened? Wow! Guess what, dear? I finally found the piano! <laughs> hey, Victoria, have you by any chance seen Sam's tail? Hmm? Mm, not at all. Come on, how about helping us look? Hmm, let me think. That sounds boring. Oh. No! Well, let's go for it, Sam! <laughs> Get it, Fluffy? No! Hey! At least we found it. Uh, Sam? <laughs> Sam! Wake up, man! But what if they figure out what it is? Well, then we're finished. Over. Our cover is blown. Which is why we have to get it back. No! Oh, you've gone soft. Lost your touch. Fallen off your game. Okay, Sam. I've still got a few slick tricks up this fur sleeve. <laughs> because the sun is shining and it's a brand new day. To the girls. They have to be less noisy than this. Uh -huh. Okay, step one of Operation Tail infiltrate enemy territory. But before we get started, safety first. Mm -hmm. Hop on my back, Sam. Like a backpack? Are you sure? Yes. This is what ninjas do. <laughs> oh. Can I try it on? <laughs> Fluffy said not to give it to a soul. But Fluffy's not here, is she? She's eating. I could tie it around your neck. That's not giving it to a soul. I would love that. Oh, you could do this. <laughs> or this. <laughs> or this. <laughs> or this. Glad I thought of the trampoline. <laughs> okay, still not quite back to my old self. Nap time. <sighs> well, where is it? Sorry, Sam, it was a no-go. They really liked that tail. I was afraid of that, so I found a backup plan. Yeah? You know, with the stripes. <laughs> I don't think so. You sure? Totally. So unless you want to sleep on a pine cone pillow again, we're going to have to outsmart those cats. But Washington, you said you ah! got... Stop listening to me so much. It's somebody's bedtime. Okay, wait for me outside. <laughs> Sam! <laughs> a giant talking sock! <laughs> Wake me up! Sam, it's me. I am waking you up. It's time for Operation Tail Rescue, the sequel. Okay, jump on my back. Are you sure? Just go. Roll! Ah! 
Tell them they can stop looking. I thought you did. Girls, I'm trying to sleep here and you're wasting your time. The tail's not here. It flew out the window. You sure? Of course I am. I did it. What? Why did you do that? My sincere apologies, but it's a cat thing. I just can't fight it. If something fluffy goes flying by, I just gotta swipe at it. Oh, we cats are just like that. Wow, you speak swell. You mean... All cats? Oh, yes. Mm. Mm. Sorry, Eugenie. Hey, my tail! I'll explain later. Right now, clean up this room. Victoria, you're gonna help us. Uh, really? Mm -hmm. Are you sure of your plan? Absolutely. When Fluff and Nug see this, they won't be able to resist it, leaving us free access to your missing appendage. You're sure? Totally. Now let's get your tail back. Do I have to climb on your back? Nope. We'll, uh, take the stairs. Huh? Oh! Wow! Amazing! Okay, let's go! You sure? Don't worry. <laughs> I'm a lean, mean ninja machine. Ha-ha! <laughs> 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 oh! Okay, they need me. Well, I think it's abundantly clear to everyone that I've got my edge back. <laughs> We did it, Washington, we did it! I can't believe it! Uh, I mean, I knew we could, dumb cats. Hello, mm -hmm. I helped too, you're welcome. Sam, you're my best friend, and all that matters is that I'm the one who got your tail back. Breakfast! <laughs> <laughs> oh. Wait! Switch the tail! Oh, Washington. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Flip, flip. <sighs> Bedtime, my beloved beasts. Whoever gets there first gets to sleep in the living stone's bed. One, two, three, go! <laughs> the longest and I'm on the floor. Vic, relax. We're sleeping indoors. You know what's a bad bed? A porcupine. Pointy and they snore. But I've done it. Thanks to the wild, I can sleep through anything. Well, I need a pillow. Not too soft, but... <laughs> He's already asleep, isn't he? And dreaming. You bandit face dumpster divers, we're trying to sleep! <laughs> <laughs> Way to chase off those raccoons, Wash. 
Is Mr. L mad at Washington about the raccoons? Naturally. Dogs are supposed to chase off raccoons, but Washington blew it. Now, if you'll excuse me, I caught the spot on the couch by Mrs. L's pee. Oh, no! If Wash doesn't chase off the raccoons, Mr. L might kick us out. <laughs> oh, Sam, you're overreacting. You're right. I'm overreacting when I should be over overreacting. <laughs> Wake up, Wash. Our lives are over. Hey, I thought I asked you for a 9 a.m. wake up. We have a situation. Listen. Mr. L will kick us out if you don't chase off those scary raccoons. I can chase off raccoons. I chased off way worse back in the wild. You did? Technically, I was chased by way worse in the wild. But no worries, I got this. Time's up, boys. Buffet's closed. Don't gotta go home, but you can't eat here. Uh. Oh. I said... <laughs> Arf! <laughs> Yo, I think that dog swallowed his squeaky toy. <laughs> Hit the road. All your racket's making me tired, and you won't like me when I'm tired. Rah! <laughs> <laughs> Go cover your ears with your doggy sweater, fancy paws. My paws aren't fancy. Sure, my nails are trimmed bi-weekly, but... Time for a magic trick. Want to see me pull a fox out of a dog? For my next trick, I'll need a volunteer. Wow! You're a fox? Like a wild fox? Yo, I don't want no trouble. Are we cool? We didn't know you had a long con going on here. No disrespect, though. Just let us grab some food for the road. Still got my wild side. Yo, is it true what they say about indoor pets? Yep, fresh food from a can, twice a day, every day. You're living the dream, man. Hey, wanna take a break from fancy living and run with us tonight? Yeah, this place has some of the tastiest gutters in the world. Well, it sounds great, but I can't. My humans wake up in a few hours and I have this bone I'm working on. You sure, bro? <laughs> Ooh, you know you can't say no to me. <laughs> What's one night? I got soggy french fries on the fox! Put them in a trash bag here, Ricky! <laughs> Hermanos, it was fun. Are you okay? Did they hurt you? Blink once for yes, blink twice for... I'm in too much pain to blink. I'm okay. Don't worry, Sam. You smell like trash, both literal and animal varieties. Guys, relax. The Rack Pack is cool. The who? The what? That's the raccoon gang's name, the Rack Pack. Pretty sweet, huh? You know, once you get past the fleas and the farting, they're good guys. Washington, you hear? Garbage thief, germ carrier! <laughs> Victoria, heal! Down. Wanna run with us again tonight? Found the Taco Shacks dumpster! Oh, I do like day old tacos. I do <coughs> like tacos too, but it's bedtime. Bedtime is for dogs, which I guess makes it okay for you. <laughs> Knock it off. I'll be out in a sec. Did you actually join the raccoon gang? Sam? I don't want to hang out with the Rack Pack again, but I need to make sure they hang out away from here to keep Mr. L happy and preserve our safety. You don't want to have to go back to the woods and eat acorns, do you? No, 
Okay, but don't let them give you a tattoo. Like mine. Uh, don't worry. I'm a total professional. I'd say look what the cat dragged in, but I wouldn't touch you with Sam's claws. Please, I'm a total professional. <laughs> Why, hello, Washington. Is it tummy rub time in tummy rub town? <laughs> wow, good trick. It's like play dead only as play scary. Someone's getting sloppy. Washington, we need to talk. This isn't easy for me to say, especially as I'm thirsty right now and my mouth is dry, but... The raccoon is bringing out your wild side, and your wild side is a big jerk! Hmm? Nap time, again. He almost blew our cover and he doesn't even care! Okay, time for plan B! Which is? Whatever I think of next. Aha! Oh. Wash, we need to talk. Your wild side is starting to show! We could get kicked out! Oh, you guys! I have my wild side under control! I can stop any time! You almost beat Mr. L this morning! And I've smelled used litter boxes fresher than you! Excuse me? I defend our garbage and safety by making sure the raccoons eat everyone else's! You want me in that trash? You need me in that trash if you don't want Mr. L to toss us out. We need you in a bath. But Wash, if you keep acting wild, the living stones will kick us out. I can't go back to the forest. It's wet. It's cold. There's no TV. No more talk. Time for action. Ah, I could do action. You make weapons from twigs? And feathers! Whoa. If Wash won't do it, I'll chase off those raccoons once and for all. He's my best friend alone! <laughs> Your best friend is a trash can? Uh, no, Washington. I won't let you ruin his life one second more. Who wants hot dogs? Okay, his life might not look ruined, but... Go back inside, fancy fur. Don't call me fancy. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, you pie-hole fools. Jive raccoons best be leaving our hood. That's street slang, right? <laughs> <laughs> Did you just get ketchup on my fur? That don't come out. Yeah, not until it shakes. Back off, fellas. No way, bro. It's go time. Hey, I wasn't asking. Sure, these indoor pets might not be tough and maybe have ridiculously clean fur. Was that aimed at me? But they are my best friends. Your, your words have touched us. In the butt! Beat it, Blamo! You're out of the game! You, cut! Belly dance for us. Belly dance? Yeah, I'm better at tap. Belly, Belly dance! dance. <laughs> Don't do the worm! <laughs> Ricky, uh, Fox is back! And these foemen! <laughs> ah, crazy fox dog! That ain't a fox, that's a freak! Run, run, run! <laughs> It was just so... I'm sorry, guys. I don't need to run with those raccoons. I already got the best gang ever. No more wild side? Wow, you really do need a bath. And that's coming from a hog. Hmm? <laughs> just a sec, guys. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. 
So we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Tell me when to stop, okay? <laughs> Hello? Hello? <laughs> oh, is Sam Sam hungry? I thought I'd just opened that this morning. Uh, that'll be enough for you today. Enjoy your meal. Ten second view. Sam? Sam? Sam! Someone shrunk my costume. Someone shrunk it. Get back in your suit right now. If you don't, everybody will notice that you're not a cat but a big fat boar. <laughs> <laughs> You guys, Sam's costume doesn't fit anymore. Give me a hand, fast. <laughs> Sam, enunciate. Uh, I think he says I'm suffocating. <laughs> Gotta fight for your right to get back into costume. Come on, no Sam, no Sam, faster, pal. Hey, where are you going? Whoa, man, what's all the racket? Come on, Sam. Your training's not over. Well, I'll be. You. A pig that meows. Arf, 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 arf. Arf, 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 arf. It, go away with your weird bark. <laughs> Sam, I'm gonna get you out. We're going to hoist you over. Honey! Who wants a treat? <laughs> Hang on tight, Sam. <laughs> <laughs> I love that toy. Good boy. Get it, honey bunch. Sam, what about your diet? You don't understand. You're just a skinny fox. I hate squeezing into my costume, and I like eating cookies. Huh? Miss Treat likes the real me. But Sam, the warmth of a cookie can't compare to the warmth of a family. Well... There you go, honey bunch! <laughs> I'd rather leave than see any more of this. Farewell, Sam. Ah, there you are. But where's Sam? Sam? <laughs> Sam, no. you! No. Ah, Sam. Are you okay, boy? You look slim. Wait a minute. I've got something for you. Wow, Sam. You look slim and trim. Think it's me, Washington in disguise. 
How does Sam do it? It's exhausting. I need to take a break. Honey, where's Washington? Hmm? Washington? Washington! 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 Say you want ham, say you want lunch, there's only one name that's honey bunch. Say you want ham, say you want lunch, there's only one name that's honey bunch. Say you want ham, say you want lunch, there's only one name that's honey bunch. Come here, honey bunch, my little lunch. Yeah. Looks like somebody's putting on weight. <laughs> Here we go, the diet talk. Well done, my friend. Yes. Enjoy. Oh. You can eat one more, can't you, piggy boy? <laughs> this is great. <laughs> Washington? Oh no! I'd rather leave than see any more of this. It's all my fault that he left. <laughs> this was his first birthday with us. I looked really cute that day. Maybe somewhere along the way, we stopped showing Washington how much we love him. Oh honey, you're great. It's me. I've been too wrapped up in my work. Group hug! <laughs> no cookie can compare to Washington, even if it is insanely, unbelievably delicious. Washington, you just hang in there. I'm gonna bring you back home. Honey? Honey Bunch! Where are you, ham to be? Oh. <laughs> Where do you think you're going, you little piece of fat ham? Linda! Isn't that the nickname that lady gave to Sam? Honey Bunch? Yep! So that means Sam is gonna be on TV! Yes! yes. Uh, no, not exactly. He's gonna be in the oven! She's gonna turn him into a big fat ham? No! Mm -hmm. <sighs> oh. Sam, come back! Come on, Vic. It's good karma. I think Victoria wants a cuddle, dear. Say you want ham, say you want lunch. There's only one name that's honey bunch. Sam! <sighs> Washington, help! Let's go home, buddy. What's all that racket? Oh, man! <laughs> <laughs> Hey, that's my costume. Not bad, right? Ah! Pastor Sam, she wants you for dinner. Come back here, honey bunch. The oven is preheated. <laughs> faster, Sam, faster. Come on, I'm here for you, buddy. Focus. No, Sam, no, Sam, no, Sam. Faster, she's getting on us. This is our chance. Yeah. <laughs> Melting, 
Melting? Sam, you're a genius! Uh, really? Ha-ha! <laughs> there you are! Oh. Meow! <laughs> Just a big alley cat. Oh. Honey bunch? Shh! <laughs> a fox! <laughs> Stay away, varmint! Stay away! Oh, I'm sorry, Wash. I'll never be so selfish anymore. <sighs> Don't worry, Sam. The most important thing is that we're still best friends. Come here, buddy. <laughs> Honey, look who's home. Give me a hug, my sweet little doggy. <laughs> P.U. Somebody smells like garbage. <laughs> P.U., you, you stink. Right. Okay, starting now, it's all about motivation. New eating habits, new Sam. Uh, ah! Oh, Sam! Ah! New me! Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Cat can resist it. You should probably get the hang of it then, huh? That, my friend, is called a cat treat. <laughs> Sam, less weird bear, more cat. <laughs> Better, now stretch! Good! Stay in the moment. Think feline. Meow! Hey, you two! Bug up! Catnam is for real cats! I'm a real cat. Don't! The point is, I should be able to have one thing in this house that's mine. Is that too much to ask? Hi, you guys. Hi, guys. Hi, what? <laughs> it's our birthday. Again? We're having a party Tuesday night. Our lady goes to bingo on Tuesday. We'd love to come. Uh, sorry, only Vic made the guest list. Congratulations, Vic! We don't even like each other. True, but we need more indoor pets with proper training for this party. It's going to be 50% fancier this year. And we're having cheesecake. Entertaining. Okay, I'll come to your fet or whatever, but they come too. We're a package deal. <laughs> oh, Sam, we're about to taste frosting. I hope it's purple. Um, no way are you coming near our cake. Oh, okay, bye. Yeah. Come on, you guys. Away. Let them come. More presents, Fluff. Fine. But you'll all be kicked out before kick. And if you make a mess, act like dorks, or bring an unawesome present. 
No sweat, kitten mittens. I'm going to prep them myself. Get set to be charmed. Yay! <laughs> You've been attending these fancy pet parties for years. You're really going to share your inside tips with us? Goop hug! <laughs> Thank you, Vic. We're going to have shit cake. Do we get presents, too? What about ice cream? Saddle! <gasps> you have much to learn before sheet cake. Ready? And lift! Yeah. Well done, Eugenie. Okay, good. Eugenie, Suze, how about you two go find the perfect present for Nugs and Fluff? We'd love to! Yes, please! Faster, come on! Winner gets extra birthday cake! Yeah. <laughs> Victoria! You okay? You know what? None of those gifts were snazzy enough for Nugget and Fluffy. I know, but where are we going to find Pierre Class? <sighs> Sam? Yes, a minute. It's almost done. Ta -da! Okay, so you want to play. You two are now the perfect guests. Yay! Yes! Fluffy, yeah. I'm leaving for bingo. Don't fight! I'll be home soon! It's party time! Even more boring than last year, and that already was quite a challenge. I hope they love it! Well, it sounds perfect. Uh... <laughs> For you, neighbors! Oh, we'll take that. Get up! Box, which smells like uh, sidewalk. No, it's a throne, a beautiful throne. Sure, it could use a paint job. Take it away. Get it out of here. <laughs> we hate our present. <laughs> what about the cake? The girls, quick, go find a new present. What? <laughs> Go. 
got this. You just enjoy. This is your day. Are we not, gentlemen? Ah! Are you guys nuts? Our lady will be home soon. But it's your birthday. It's customary. Fix it. Troublemakers, three crazed cats. Come on, let's get them. Where are they? Did they go get coffee? Oh, who cares? Run! Ah. Sam, let's go! No! Joke to spice up your boring party. <gasps> you owe us a present. Well, good night, you two. Good night. These carriers are breaking my arms. You two are going on a diet. Sorry about the fuss. Fighting with the neighbors, ending up in the pound. What has gotten into you, Vic? Oh, come on, dear. Let's go to bed. My party days are officially over. Good night, Sam. Good night, Vic. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Smell something stinky? All I can smell is the heat. Hmm, you mean like a rotten cauliflower? Yeah, just like that. I smell it now, but I think it's a pile of dirty wet socks. Mm -hmm. You're both wrong. It's Sam. Come on, Vic. That's a low blow. Of course it's not. <laughs> Hey, Washington. Trying to drink this milk, but it's kind of chunky. It's your smell, Sam. It's curdled the milk. Oh, well, it is a hot day. And bats are very boring. Sam, when was the last time you had one? Uh, let's see. One, two... What month is it? What? No wonder you smell. Yeah, I smell great. Unique. <laughs> you don't 
smell great, you smell gross. Can't you smell your stink? No, that is the, uh, uh, skunk. I know you're not blaming me for that stench, yo, but you want some of my stink, just say so. Uh, we're fine. You're very scary, though. Impressive. Well, the skunk's gone, but the stink is not. Love me, love my smell. This is gonna be a long summer. Would you like a bacon sandwich, dear, or bacon between two pieces of bread? I think I'd prefer a piece of bacon with bread on each side. <laughs> <laughs> What's that smell, honey? It's certainly not bacon. It smells almost boarish. Like a wild boar, don't you think? Yes, it's just like wild boar. But how could that be? <gasps> Hear that? The elves are about to discover our secret, thanks to Sam's stink. They won't smell it if we secretly stick branches up their nostrils. True, but I think they might notice branches up their nostrils. Well, until we find the source, we just need... Air, air freshener. freshener! And we need some boar freshener. Good luck finding that at the store. If you'll excuse me, I need to go breathe. We may not be able to buy boar freshener, but we can make a super crazy smell to disguise Sam's stink. We'll start with bacon grease. Ha ha! Who can resist that? Add some musky aftershave. A little garlic. A dash of toothpaste. A slice of shag carpet. No! A roll of toilet paper. No! A trumpet. Fine. Oh, good. I love the smell of music. The moment of truth. That is beyond my wildest expectations. <laughs> yeah? Oh, so you like my smell now, huh? I knew you'd learn to love my natural aroma. Everyone does. Right. That's exactly it. I love your natural wild boar smell. Huh? What is that? It's... it's... It's my natural smell. Leave me alone if you don't like it. But... but I love it. I love you. Where could it have come from? <laughs> oh, Sam, it's not you, is it? He smells... He smells... So delightful! delightful. <laughs> Have a snack, you charming devil. And you can take our bed tonight. We'll sleep in the garden. Coast is clear. A bacon raid can commence. Hello, ladies. Move it, Scarlet Bun. Before we. <laughs> Kiss you from head to toe! You look all tense, let me massage these knots. You're so cool. Yes, I know. Oh, oh, no! Hurry up! We have to go to his place right now! Come on! <sighs> Sam's steak is sorted out, and I can finally chillax. Sam is in the building, Dads! Oh, ah, yeah! Eugenie! Susie! What's wrong with you? They love me and my awesome smell. Oh, no! My super crazy boar freshener! It's too powerful! Here, girls. It's me. It's Scratch and Sniff. <laughs> I need to talk to you. And I need to talk to you, Washington. Listen, I decided to ditch the disguise. What? What are you saying? The elves will know you're a boar. Big deal. They love the boar smell, they'll love the boar. Yeah. <laughs> 
Sam, what everyone loves isn't your smell. They love this. You're just jealous of my natural... That stuff does smell good. It's aftershave and bacon grease with a few secret spices. We mixed it up, didn't we, girls? <laughs> but I thought it was me that everyone liked. <laughs> Sam, what are you doing? That stuff's powerful. <laughs> <laughs> Come back to our place, Sam. You can stay forever. <laughs> it's time for our wedding dance, Dreamboat. <laughs> <laughs> Smelling so incredible is a lot of pressure. <laughs> Phew. That's better. A bit of peace and quiet. It's that fat cat that yeah. smells so good. Good Whoa, kitty! Get it, get it, get it. Get it. Whoa. Hey, get oh. over! Good kitty! No, no! The whole city loves me much too much! Ah! Washington, stop me from smelling so sweet. I'll do anything. Even a boring bath? <laughs> I'm ready. Bathe me. <laughs> that ought to do it. You sure? to dry clean. <laughs> that ought to do it. Are you sure? Oh. <laughs> I'm never gonna get this stuff off me. I'll be hunted forever. There must be a way. Okay, we got rid of your stick by overpowering it with something stronger. Hurry up, Washington! I can't feel my eyes! So we're going to need to overpower that with something even stronger! Super stronger! There's nothing stronger than this delicious aroma! There's one possible thing, but it won't be pretty! Who cares about pretty? Okay. I'll always love him. Love who? I don't remember. There she is. Does she see us? Just wait. Is that smell you? You like that? Uh-huh. That is sweet. <laughs> I like your smell, too. Very funny. He's serious. You splash his back, we'll splash yours. Now you're just messing with me. No, no, we... Yeah, we are. You're a stinky, stinky skunk. Why, you lousy... Gross. <laughs> Thanks. You are one weird cat. Just in case you're not messing. So how do I smell? <laughs> Tomatoes, the best cure for skunk stink. Sorry, Sam. Sorry? I love a good tomato bath. So, from now on, you can call me Sam Marinera. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough, so we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. 
but to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. like a fluffy cloud, isn't it? Oh, sweet. Oh, honey, should we let them in the bed? Hmm. Victoria's already here. Don't you think one is enough? But look how sad they are. Fine. All aboard! <laughs> A little to the left, Washington. Uh, that's my arm, Sam. You can't sleep in my shirt, Eugenie. Okay. Come on. Good night. I was here first. Does that mean anything these days? Now, Vic, there's plenty of room. Just bend at the right angle and don't breathe. Too much. My tail isn't a sleep mask, Sam. It works good. Go roll in some mud. I had a dream that I was falling. Oh, I guess it wasn't a dream. That's okay. I often dream I'm flying. Good morning, sunshine. Oh. Oh, wait, honey. I'm going to prepare you another coffee. Is Mr. L okay? Hmm. The last time I saw him acting this weird was when Mrs. L told him her mother was coming to visit. Uh, hey, I must leave for work now. Bye, dear. I'm <laughs> leaving for something. Hey, did the door shrink? Huh, can't be good. Where does he go every day? The park, silly. Bye-bye, honey. Have a nice day. Oh. Oh. From now on, only one pet is allowed to sleep in the bed. Okay, honey. We'll try it your way. Only one pet in the... <laughs> First one there wins. <laughs> yes! I win! Fair and square. I win! Looks a lot less scary in that big bed. I'm sure Vic will understand. It's a thunderstorm. Uh, I don't think so. I think she'll be really. <laughs> Just. Uh, that's it. Everybody down. Look at them. They're freaking. <laughs> bunch of fake furs. about a rude awakening. limits, but 
I've got an all-you-can-eat buffet just waiting for you. A bunch of mice? No, good stuff. <laughs> Furry pets. I want to get them thrown off my human's <laughs> bed. Uh, deal. Spot stealers, I'll show you. <laughs> She forgot we're protected by a shield of fake fur. Almost like superheroes. We're under attack! Uh, is it an intruder with itching powder? No, it's even worse! Please! All right, you flea bags. There's no way I'm gonna let you ruin my night ever again. First, a great big dip in the flea bath. Blows them off, darling. There you go, Sam. Go and get dry now. Oh, it's bath time for Bunny. All righty, dear, your turn. You can say goodbye to your parasites, Eugenie. Now go dry off with Sam. And now for the leader of the pack. A good spring cleaning to get rid of these invaders. The most infested of them all. There you go, Washington. Susie. Uh, amazing. She's going all by herself. Sorry, guys. You'll have to stay in there all day until the flea dip takes effect. Relax and dry off. I hope we're all less itchy tonight. Yeah, get comfy, guys. I'll be inside on the bed some more. By myself. <laughs> you may have won this round, Victoria, but just wait. As soon as we dry off and get released, you are toast, lady. Toast? Toast? If you mean warm and dry and loved by all, yes, I am. Ha! See ya. Are they dry yet? Mr. and Mrs. L will be getting home. <gasps> code red! We got a code red! Everything all... Uh huh? Meow? Did I just... Oh. Never mind. I haven't been getting enough sleep lately. Come on out, guys. This isn't working. I can't see a thing. Come on. Ooh. Give them one more chance. No, honey. They're just too dirty. Let's face it. Victoria is the only one who grooms herself on a regular basis. <gasps> <laughs> A lady always keeps her boudoir clean. Meow. Wait! I have an idea. This will never work. It doesn't stink enough. If only someone around you had a stinky litter box. Sam, what have you been eating? Anything. Now, we just need to make it look like it came from Victoria's box. Ooh, she's tracked cat litter all over the bed. Get out of here. What a crazy... <laughs> oh well, might as well join them. It's a little chilly in here. I'm gonna give you a blanket so you don't get cold. Gotta find some nice cool mud to sleep in. Good idea. Fly that boar flag. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Washington, 
wake up! What, Sam? I was having a dream. <laughs> huh? Huh? Shh! I know. Shh. Uh, just need some water. Hey, guys. That was close. What a beautiful night. Let's sleep on the chairs. Uh -huh. <gasps> That's enough. Win some, lose some. Come on, Dick. There's plenty of room here. I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. What are you doing? <sighs> I want to bet with a squirrel. That sandwich is mine, but I gotta get to it. <clears throat> yeah, um, have you thought about climbing? <clears throat> like an actual real cat? <clears throat> oh, of course. That was my plan B. Stuck in a tree? Now that's video gold! Oh, wait, is that Sam? Real cat! Real cat! Go, Sam! Uh, go! Stop. No, Sam! No! <laughs> Sammy, you certainly earned that sandwich. And you gave me some priceless footage here. Bon appetit! <laughs> Sam, we weren't laughing at you, we were laughing at the way you felt. It's different. Do it! Sam, hey! There you are! <sighs> Great! I guess you already heard that I fell out of a tree. Mm -hmm. <sighs> no, seriously! You're a natural barn comedian! Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah! But, Vincent, how did you. Hi, Sam. I just wanted to say congratulations on your success. I admit I'm surprised. Yeah, thanks. Wait! What is going to. <laughs> Good! You ask him, no, you! Uh, Sam, can you sign an autograph for us? <laughs> we can probably sell it. We're never selling it. Yeah, sure, if you want. What should I write? Uh, can you put two nugget with all my love? No! Oh. For Fluffy and Nugget! But mostly for Fluffy! <sighs> girls, girls, how about this? <laughs> Will someone please tell me what's up with Sam? Uh, what? You don't know? Uh, MG, Washington. Oh, and <coughs> quick! Sam's in the computer! What? I, I'm not in the computer. I'm, I'm right here. Oh! <laughs> 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 
I get it. Mr. L shared that video of you online. It appears that tumble you took is a big hit, Sam. Wow! My brother, a star! A star? I'm a star! Wow! Well, for today, anyway. It must be from one of my GoofTube fans. Yeah? Huh? <laughs> Gee, I don't care for one. Thanks. I love being a star. <laughs> and all you did was fall out of a tree. People have such weird taste. For once, we agree. <laughs> <laughs> No, I was just bringing these... Uh, sorry. Sam is swamped. Lots of fan mail, you understand. He's booked up until at least tomorrow. Yeah. Well, then, can you hold these until then? Complicated. I bet you hold it like this. If Sam can become a star with a stunt that stupid, just imagine what a triple jointed fox like me can do. You shoot, I perform. I don't know if I want to get involved in your wild animal games. Hmm, really? But I think of you as a director type, bossy. Hmm? Well, I am very visual. I suppose this would be easy enough. When do we start? So here's the deal. I rollerblade onto the trampoline, get shot into the air, and land on the mattress. You've told me this three times. I got it. Take one. My costume. Who's gonna notice? Come on, we need to take two. <sighs> Actors. Wow, all those clicks, it's a success. People love me. <laughs> it's still increasing. <laughs> well, well, who's the star now? Yeah, well, if you want my opinion, it's mostly thanks to the director's talent. Way to go, Wash. Hey, can we play too? Oh, yeah, we want to make a film. <laughs> You're too little to pull off something that sophisticated. We'll talk in five years. Aww. <laughs> huh? I just need to borrow this for a second, thanks. Vincent? Yes, sir? You've just been promoted to director. You're gonna film me. I've always wanted to work in film. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Trust me, it will be hilarious. I guess so. In three, two, one, rolling! So he wants to play dirty. Well, now it's... Washington! 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 Washington!
Boy, am I ever gonna teach that little rat a thing or two about filmmaking. Washington! 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 It's a wrap. The tree stuff made you, but we should expand your of. Agree. I need to keep it fresh. Your fans will love it. Here we go. We're going to do another take. I didn't really catch it when you hit the steel girder the first time. <laughs> So it's a tie. Why don't we just say we're both stars, huh? That's fine with me. <laughs> I think I'm gonna take a nap. Stardom is very exhausting. There's no way we're gonna let those two losers win. I know we can outdo them. I've got tons of awesome ideas, watch. Sam, you can't do this to me. We've gotta make the third part of our trilogy. <laughs> what? <laughs> what was that? Oh, look, that's our video. <laughs> What? That's the internet blockbuster of the year? Oh, Lane, there's not even any action. <sighs> I should have kept all the takes of Wash without his costume. It could have been huge. Gotta run. I need to seriously think about a career move. Filmmaking may not just be the right choice for me. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Life, Sam. No dirt, no bugs, no annoying bear. Back in the forest, my only entertainment was picking ticks off my butt. <laughs> Hello, Hello, everyone! everyone. Coming up on Bling My Day House, a doghouse with its own home office. Wow, we could do better than that. How'd you like your very own blinged doghouse, Wash? Huh, boy? Doghouse? <laughs> How come dogs get all the cool stuff? What? Doghouses are the worst. Me, I'll take the people house with AC and snacks. Hmm, Wash doesn't seem excited. Not like the dogs on TV. Strange. Hmm. Ha! Oh! Oh, whoa, oh, oh. <laughs> whoa! Ah! <laughs> Honey, I think Wash wants a doghouse duplex. 
for him and his best bud, <laughs> Sam. Yeah? Ah! Uh, you heard the dog. Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, oh, honey, I married the best pet owner in the whole world. I'm gonna make you your favorite rhubarb pie. Hmm? Oh, <laughs> yum! <laughs> oh, Wash, you have no idea what it's like to have to pretend to like that disgusting rhubarb pie. Lucky you're a dog. Huh? Come on, boy. Aren't you excited? Time to move in yet? Not exactly. Keep it simple. That's my motto. Weird. I feel like I'm being watched. That's what I thought. But it's <laughs> just Vic. I heard something in that tree. Ha! Who is it? Huh? This is gonna sound crazy, but I swear I smelled Mitch the bear. <laughs> I would know the smell of his salmon breath anywhere. Mitch? But he lives in the forest. How would he know where to find us? Don't know. All I know is if it's Mitch, it's not good. He wants something. Ah, uh, it's just Vic. She loves to stare. It's one of her main talents. Mm. 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 I don't know. Look at your new home, boys. Pretty great, huh? Yeah. <laughs> what about you, Wash? Go on, boy. <laughs> Tell you what, let's go get your toys to furnish your pad. Come on, Sam. Here, Wash. normal. We'll circle back once more. That was close. <laughs> Ooh. Wow, is that a cave? I got a treat this morning and I saved it for you. It's called a housewarming gift. No, oh, you genie. Sure, in fact, we should eat that before we go back out there. Just in case. Wash, you heard you, Genie. It's to warm our house. Here's a little something from me. Old newspaper? You can read it and pee on it. It's like two gifts in one. <sighs> I'm sure it's all perfectly safe. Sure it is. <sighs> yep. Nothing here. Just my imagination. I can't believe I was acting so crazy. Ah, oh, you guys. Ah! Mitch, what are you doing here? Hiding from those lights. They think they can get me. <laughs> but I'm smarter than them. Boys, I got a possible robbery in progress. Copy that. No bears here. I repeat, no bear. We're on our way. Well, good for you. But, you know, you can't stay here, right? Yep, but neither can you. Living with humans, it's against the laws. Laws? What laws? The laws of nature. Anyway, I thought we were friends. We are friends. Long distance friends. Mm -hmm. We live here and you live way over there. Cool, huh? Not cool. I'm taking you guys home to the woods. We're going to be best next door neighbor friends. <laughs> What are these? Mm. Whoa! You guys eat those all the time? Yep, after a walk, after a pee. Nope, those are only for special occasions. Very special occasions. This is a special occasion. I came all the way from the forest. So if you don't get me some more, we're leaving right now. No problem, pal. I'll be right back with extra special treats. <laughs> what are you doing back so soon? Mitch, it's Mitch. He's in the doghouse. He's come to take us back to the woods. What was that? I hope it wasn't your rhubarb pie exploding because that would be a tragedy. I'd better investigate. Hey, Washington, what's the matter, boy? <laughs> 
You don't like the doghouse I poured all my heart and soul into building for you? <laughs> More dog food? Well, okay. Just don't tell the missus. Hmm? Pie's almost done. <laughs> Yummy! Now I know why you like it here so much! Go get me more! <laughs> more! And bring me one of these, but softer and bigger! <laughs> Keep the elves busy! We can't risk them coming out while Mitch is here! <laughs> 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 what are you dweebs up to here? Um, nothing. Let me see. Hmm? <gasps> oh, what are you? <laughs> so pretty. So soft. She's a house cat. She um doesn't like to be held. Welcome to my house, house cat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, looks like the pie's done! Uh, uh, yum, I can taste it already. It just needs to cool a little. Only five more minutes! <laughs> Can't wait! Mm, it smells good! Watch that! Give me that! You want the pie? I can't do that. That's human food. Humans love pie. Well, guess what? I have a feeling I love pie, too! Okay, okay. Pie's on the way. <laughs> hey. hey, get over here! Give me that! Give him the pie, Wash! Come on, Washington. He's getting really mad. <laughs> I want dessert! Hello? My pie! Where did it go? Oh no, not the pie! <laughs> Naughty, are you okay? <laughs> Give me my pie! <laughs> you want your pie? Go get it! Freeze, fur bag! Uh oh. <laughs> Sorry about your doghouse, boy. You'll just have to make do with our house. And here's a little something to make it cozier. My famous rhubarb pie. <sighs> Lucky us. Pie! Is that you? I smell you, pie! And now that I love you, I'll be back! <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. I don't know.
no. Should we call a pet sitter? We've never left them alone overnight before. Oh, honey, they'll be okay for one night. We'll be home in the morning. A pet sitter? Last time it was Nuggin and Fluffy's cranky old lady. She watched game shows the whole time and ate all our treats. Ooh. It's time for you to be convincing, my friends. Do we really need a pet sitter? Hmm. Will you be good animals? <laughs> Fine. We'll try it. No pet sitter. We're trusting you. See you in the morning. Hey, we can use the extra money for Pancake Paradise. Mission accomplished. TV night is all ours. Yeah. This is going to be great. Yeah. <laughs> that if you screw things up, we'll end up with a pet sitter every single time they go away. Don't worry, we'll behave. Sam, how about a nice scary movie? Great idea! Mr. L always changes the channel. He gets really scared. Scary movie? No thanks. How about a game of tag? Huh? Oh no, not tag. about this restaurant. <laughs> Come out of here, cheeky spirit! Ooh, it's so cute! <laughs> Quick, activate the anti-ghost ray! Nothing stops ghost hunters! We should, um, probably go check on Eugenie and Susie, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I'm a force of good that's going to do you bad, you nasty <laughs> old ghost! <laughs> Your breath, it's horrible. <laughs> hey, find another hiding place. But where? I don't know, anywhere that's not around me. How about the bathroom? Go hide in the toilet. Huh? <laughs> oh, ah, kids, they believe anything. Okay, we got one chance here. This magnet should enable the neutralization of the ectoplasm of the ghost. The ghost will take form and I'll finally be able to capture him. Oh, Vic's right. The toilet is the perfect place to hide. <laughs> huh? I'm sure I saw her coming here. Insane, Eugenie? What has gotten into you? It's Susie! It's Susie what? <laughs> what am I doing here? <laughs> wow, that's fun! It's a pretty good hiding spot after all! Hello! <laughs> what? <sighs> Where'd they go? Huh? <laughs> Bet they got scared. <laughs> Susie. We'll never see her again. What the? Uh, Susie is a ghost. <laughs> Wait a second. I know what to do. We too must become ghost hunters. <laughs> Just change sides, huh? <gasps> Hello? Where are you? It's my huh? fault she became a ghost. She'll haunt me forever. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a stupid movie. It's 
coming from there, and it's getting closer. What on earth is going on in this madhouse? Susie was hiding in the toilet, and I flushed her down. <gasps> she's a ghost, and she's haunting the house. <laughs> magnet is going to enable the neutralization of the ectoplasm of the ghost. The ghost will take form, and I'll finally be able to capture him. I already heard that somewhere before. I can only use my bathroom. No one moves. Oh. <sighs> well, I'm gonna make some tea. <gasps> we must have left it on when we were leaving. Feeling better now. Oh, hi guys. Where's Susie? Honey, can you please come in? There's a problem with the sink. Oh, that's weird. Oh. Looks like something's blocking the pipe. Listen, let's go back to the camp. We'll fix it when we come back. You're right, dear. Let's go. Pipes? The pipes! There are pipes! They're like like underground tunnels. That explains everything. We dropped the magnet down the toilet, right? Yes, why? Because it wasn't the ghost dragging us up to the ceiling. It was the magnet. And that, and that Susie is hiding in the pipes and waiting for someone to find her. You are one clever fox, Wash. And you're smart, too. We're gonna pump her out of there. On the count of three. One, two, and three! <laughs> Keep jumping! It's working! There is no way I'm staying around here to be haunted the rest of my life. <laughs> Woo! 
these stones! We're doomed! <gasps> it's us! I hope everything is okay. Hmm. Where are they? Oh, here they are! Hey, where's Susie? Oh. <laughs> See, all is well. They did just fine on their own. We did it. We proved to them that they can trust us. Hang on. Hello? Has anyone seen Victoria? It's a nightmare. I'm going to wake up and have breakfast any minute now. <sighs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Included in your training kit, this beautiful dog whistle that only dogs can hear. <laughs> Guaranteed to make your dog sit up and pay attention. That's amazing. I need one for my wash. Huh, Wash? What do you think? Psst. Wash, do the dog. <laughs> Boy, Washington! Another wasted nap. Thank you, Washington. Welcome back to the news, everyone, and for our final story of the evening. Tonight is a very special night for all you stargazers out there. At 9.46 p.m., a special full moon. The one astronomers are calling the Red Fox Moon because of its brilliant red glow. <laughs> It happens only once every 50 years, and it's going to be a major event. Uh -huh. Beware the were fox! Enjoy the red fox moon, everyone. Were fox? What does that even mean? Oh boy, let's have a red fox moon party! <laughs> oh! <laughs> 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 I'm gonna get the moon food. Here comes the moon fire. Here comes the moon food. Whoa. I'm gonna get some great shots of the moon for my website. The website that only I follow? <laughs> Can you believe it, Wash? We're gonna see a red How moon tonight. Hope we don't see any were foxes. <laughs> were fox? Can someone please explain? Oh yeah, you've never heard of a were fox? It's like a werewolf, except it's not as cute. Huh. Soon, Washington, you'll turn into an ugly, howling, drooling, biting, scratching, uncontrollable wild beast. Come on, guys. You don't actually believe that. There's no such thing as a... Ooh! Ooh, 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 ooh. Ooh. <laughs> what timing! I can't believe my luck. See? It's happening already. And the moon isn't even really red yet. Hope everyone is having a good time tonight waiting for the red moon. Yes! Good. Now does everyone have their sausages on the grill? Ooh, come on! <gasps> Let's get the sausages. What do you say? We'll be right back! You gonna watch me like that all night? No. 
Maybe, yes? <sighs> Sam, listen to me. Nothing is gonna happen. <laughs> Come on, Sam. You know me. We grew up together. We're like brothers. <laughs> You're drooling! <laughs> Too salty. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> okay, drooling check. Now, scratchy time. Hi, guys. <laughs> hey, party people. We're only a short bit away from the big event. Let's keep spinning those boom tubes. Where foxes are scary. <laughs> Sam, enough! I am not going to turn into some wild, scary, biting and scratching beast! Come on! Seriously, I told you everything is fine! Nothing is going to happen! It's happening! Itchy, scratching beast! No, 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 Sam. Nothing is happening. I was just suddenly itchy. Let the howling begin. Howl! <laughs> Good evening, ma'am. And cool outfit, by the way. You like to bark? You're gonna scream. Spirit Washington? <laughs> Looks like someone here is getting in touch with their inner werefox, huh, boy? <laughs> oh, my friends can't be wrong. We're drawing even closer to the Red Fox Moon Party, people. It's not long now. Oh. Oh. From where we are, the is turning more and more red every second. <laughs> ah! Ah! You can... ah! Just look at yourself. You're a crazy twitching mess. It's happening, Vic. I'm trying not to, but I can't. Vic, you gotta hide me and keep me away from everyone before I turn. Oh yes. Yes, we have to hide it's you. It's almost that time! Oh boy, I can't wait! Hey, where's Washington? We can't do this without man's best friend. Too late. Come here, buddy. Ah! Ah! Come on! You don't want to miss it. Oops, Second sorry, away Vic. from the Red Fox Moon, everyone. Ten. Sorry again. Eight, seven, <laughs> six, five. <laughs> Wait, what? Hide your coming. cat? That means it's werewolf <laughs> time! Three, two, one, out!
собрание. Не? Uh -oh. I forget I'm a... Get back here, Werefox! You leave my pets alone! Chased off that werefox, didn't you? And in our final story of the night, we've got some interesting pictures from a red fox moon party last night, where a real life werefox was spotted. Check these out. Those are my pictures on TV. <laughs> That's my hubby. I don't know. <laughs> Are they saying I'm an idiot? <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Dogs wag their tails. Why doesn't Wash wag his? Maybe a heart pumping workout will get that tail wagging. <laughs> Catch! <laughs> get it! <laughs> <laughs> hey, maybe you just need someone to show you how. See, Washington? Like this! <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I, uh, I'm showing my dog how to wag his, uh... Better call the vet. And for Victoria, a new toy filled with catnip. That's right, Doc. Washington won't wag. So you can see why I'm concerned. He never wags his tail. Are you sure? Think long and hard. Uh... What's all the drama about? Whatever it is, it has something to do with my tail not being able to wag. This is because you're a wild fox. Domesticated foxes can wag. It's genetic. I've seen it on TV. <laughs> <laughs> You're so on it, you're... Okay, maybe not. No! <laughs> uh, nope. I can't remember the last time I saw his tail wag. Maybe never. Well, I don't have to see him. To make a diagnosis, your dog is just not happy. As the rhyme goes, if it doesn't wag, it's sad. But 
that doesn't really rhyme. <laughs> of course it does. I went to college. I mean, how well do you really know your dog? Maybe he isn't happy with you in the city. Maybe he'd be happier in the country. You should think about sending him to a farm. Do you mean it? You think Washington would be better off on a farm? Far away from us? Who knows? <laughs> of course! Well, if he doesn't wag very soon, we'll send him away. <gasps> After all, you are the medical professional. Oh, oh yes, by even wearing a white coat and a stethoscope. <laughs> <laughs> an emergency. The elves think I'm defective because my tail doesn't wag. So if I don't wag really, really soon, I'm gonna get sent to the country. I don't even know where that is. It's far. Lots of cows. Oh. We'll probably never see you again. <laughs> what? If only we could help you wag. No, uh -oh. he's about to make that call. We gotta do something. I know. How about you? Uh, uh... Hey, maybe we should talk to some real dogs and see if they've got some tips. That's what I was gonna say. We could ask uh... Plato and Alvarez. But what if they guess my secret? What if they realize I'm not really a dog? Hmm. We'll think of. Yeah. Something. What? Bizarre. A dog unable to wag its tail? Yes, a dog friend of a dog friend. <laughs> we barely know this strange dog. He's a normal dog. Well, his bark is a little weird. <laughs> this is Washington we're talking about, yes? It doesn't matter. We can't explain it. When we're happy, we wag. It just happens. Please, guys, just a demo. This is a desperate situation. Why not? It's fun when you beg. Hmm. Move all your tail muscles to the left, then to the right. Start slow, repeat. Come on. And one and two, 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 and one and two. I think I saw something. Yeah. No, no, no. Not up and down. That's not a wag. Right and left. Right and left. Right and left. <sighs> I'm afraid we can't help you. Sorry. You're just too weird. If Washington doesn't wag his tail, the elves will send him to a farm. Yikes. Huh? I'd rather live in the wild than on a farm. Oh, please. Washington would never survive in the wild. <laughs> Just do it. Go over there. It's worth a try. Mm -hmm. uh, hi! <laughs> huh? Doc, it's me, Mr. Owl. He's worse off than we thought. Washington is <laughs> wagging his tail. But it goes up and down, not right to left. Oh, Doctor. What's wrong with him? Oh, ah. Now look what you've done. This is all your fault. The vet says it's all my fault. <laughs> I guess we're just not the right owners for him. Come on, Sam. It's a cat toy filled with catnip. It's for cats. Exactly! That's why I like it so much, because I am a cat! Huh? <laughs> sure you are, just like Washington is a dog whose tail doesn't work. Look what we found! <laughs> What's that supposed to do? Wagging machine! Oh, <laughs> 
Huh? Money! I think Wash is getting worse! He's going bananas! Doctor, it's official! There's something very wrong with Washington! Of course there is. I'll pick him up in the morning and take him to the country forever. Sound good? Yes, Doctor. See you in the morning. Okay. And don't go to any trouble. Uh, just coffee for me. Bye now! <sighs> Sorry, boy. We thought we were the perfect match for you. <laughs> we gotta try something else. <laughs> I think I better take off for the wild like Alvarez said. Otherwise, I could end up on a farm forever. I won't let you go back to the wild alone, Washington. We'll <laughs> all go back. No, no, no. It would break the Livingstones' hearts. And they're sad enough about me being defective as it is. I've got to do this alone. You can split my dog food. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. You can whatever. Bye. You're so dramatic. You really don't get it, do you? Get what? Why they're sending you away. Do you know something? I might have some information. Vic, please! Wash is about to be sent to the country and we'll never see him again. Tell us what you know. Cat toy, please. For keeps. For keeps? <laughs> All right, let's do it. <laughs> care if your tail works or not. They just want to see you're happy. Why do you think I purr all the time? They just want to see I'm happy? That's easy. I'll show them I'm happy like they've never seen before. not be perfect, but we're better together than we are apart. Huh? Yeah, hello, it's your trusty vet. Sorry, Doc. False alarm. Everything is okay now. Really? Absolutely. Just have a look. See? Everything is fine. Sorry to have bothered you, Doc. Have a good day. Oh, 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 oh. That family is completely nuts. Okay, guys, I'm bringing you back to the forest. <laughs> Yay! Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. We'll be back tonight, pets! Be good! No fighting! To the backyard! Last one, there's a rotten egg! Why? Are rotten eggs always late? Vic, aren't you coming? No, why would I hang with you and do something when I could hang out with me and do nothing? What should we play first? Hide and hog seek! It's ah! like you read my mind! Or I just wanted to play the same game as you. <laughs> okay, buddy, you hide first. 
<laughs> you never mind me. But Sam, we can totally see you. Shh. Ooh. <laughs> where, oh, where could Sam be? Huh. It's like he's vanished. <laughs> You're not very good at this game. There you are! Excellent yeah. high job, buddy! Yeah. Best friend, Paw Shake! Yeah. <laughs> 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 uh, what are they doing? Oh, that's just their super elaborate best friend, Paw Shake! They've been working on it for months! It's gotten out of hand! Whenever there's something to celebrate, we have to wait while they do this! <laughs> what I believe the hairball hawker means to say is that dogs and cats should not get along, let alone have best friends paw shakes. You don't know what I mean, dumb dog. Stop putting words in my mouth. What are those nerds up to? <sighs> I should do something about this, but... <sighs> oh, at least we don't do our business in a tiny indoor sandbox. That Pretty high and mighty coming from someone who sniffs butts. See? That is the proper exchange for a cat and a dog. Not that. Yeah? <laughs> if I didn't know any better, I'd think those two weren't really a cat and dog at all, but rather uncultured wild beasts. <gasps> That's the one thing we can agree on, Fuzz Bucket. Something's not right. What? Of course we're a cat yeah. and a dog. This isn't a paw shake, we're fighting. Uh, Sam, we need to talk. I had no idea cats and dogs aren't supposed to get along. Duh, of course they aren't. Any domesticated pet could tell you that. So, that's why you're always so unfriendly to me. No, that's just because you're annoying. Right, but if I were a cat... Nope. Don't like other cats, either. I like me. What are you guys gonna do? You're best friends! But if you act like it, the neighbors might find out that we're not who we say we are. She's right. You two better go out there and show those pets that you can't stand each other. Otherwise, they'll get suspicious. Okay, Sam. It's not gonna be easy, but from now on, we are mortal enemies. Why? What did I do? Sam, we're just pretending for the neighbors. Right. I'm gonna have some trouble remembering that. It's hard not to look at you and not think, friends. We'll help you out. All right, so here's the plan. The first thing we need to do is remember that we absolutely... Wow, Sam and Wash just can't stand each other these days. What will they do to each other next? Yeah, their fights are getting delicious. I mean, vicious. Vicious, huh? This I have to see. Okay, Sam, that's your cue. <laughs> you can do this, Sam. You've seen Nick do it a hundred times. <laughs> this isn't gross. It doesn't bother me that I can taste everything that I stepped in today. Here I am, a cat doing what a cat does, hoping no dog bothers me. Arf, arf, <coughs> woof, woof. <laughs> Washington, you scared me half to death. Why would you do that? <clears throat> because you're fighting. Yo, Ray, you're my enemy, cat. Yo, oh, yeah, you make me so mad. <sighs> and also hungry. Sam! But mostly mad. This isn't a fight. This is barely a quibble. We're losing them. You should be thanking me for the exercise, you lazy furbag! Oh, good one. <laughs> Sam, wait! I'm sorry. I knew it. They are friends. What is going on here? That's the most pathetic cat and dog fight in history. The only part I bought was that Sam's feelings were hurt. That's because they were. 
Sam, I didn't mean it. We were just putting on a show. It's not real. It felt real to me. Well, that's because I'm a fantastic actor. But we gotta get back out there and convince them once and for all that we can't stand each other. Sam, most important, you have to insult him back. We cats are known for our great comebacks. Show me your best mean face, Sam. <laughs> Foaming at the mouth. Nice touch. Ew, that's just drool. I'm still hungry. That's it! I have an idea! Follow my lead! Ha <laughs> ha I stole your favorite blanket, and now I'm gonna ruin it! <laughs> Sam, you must be so upset. Yes, I mean, no, I'm so sad I could cry. <laughs> Is he crying or imitating a seal? He's typing, we got help him. <laughs> okay, Sam, don't move. Huh? <laughs> Them. I need a real reaction out of him. Quit crying, cat. Here, have some catnip. You cats love it. Oh, uh, yes, we cats do love ketchup. Catnip. Yeah, catnip. Uh, I guess there's only one thing to do with this. <laughs> ah, <laughs> silly cat. That wasn't catnip. It was poison ivy. Uh? Oh, could you? See? Cats can never outsmart a dog. <laughs> oh, no. I'm not letting those two make cats look like idiots. Hey, Sam. Psst. Mm -hmm. Tell Washington that. <laughs> you may have tricked me, but at least I don't do cheap tricks for treats. What? <laughs> A good one. Score what for cats? Hey, Sam, I may have to do tricks for treats, but at least I don't have to share my treats with fleas. Yeah. I'd rather have fleas than worms. What? I do not have worms. Dogs are worms. Yeah, I mean, dogs are worms. <laughs> what? That's right. Hit him where it hurts. The only worm I know is you, and you're a furry worm at that. Glad I could help. Whoa, whoa. I think they forgot about us. Yep, that ought to distract them for a while. We can finally give up this stupid act. But I'm just getting the hang of it. <laughs> Not that I like it. You're my best friend no matter what. And you're mine. I only have feelings of awesomeness toward you. What is all this commotion? <laughs> <laughs> wow, look at those cats and dogs fight. They're like wild animals. Thank goodness you guys aren't like that. You're civilized. See? I say that as long as the elves are convinced, we're free to be besties. Yay! Best friend pushing? No, it'll take too long. Can't you guys celebrate a little shorter? I'll settle for a hug. Come on, buddy, let's go inside. Last one there's a monkey's uncle. What's so bad about that? I'd love to have a nephew with an endless supply of bananas. Yeah! 
Must I do everything myself? <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. My favorite time of the year! <laughs> Don't forget the sunscreen! <laughs> What's up, Vic? Oh, don't you know? It's summer vacation. The oh. elves and I go away every year, and it's pretty great. Yeah? What's so great about it? Relaxation, duh. Do you know how exhausting it is being a house cat all year round? But if you don't like lounging around all day and 24-hour access to an all-you-can-eat buffet, then you wouldn't like it. Ew! An all-you-can-eat what? Did you just say what I think you said? We're going too, right? Of course! You can't very well stay home by yourselves, can you? Look, the pets are all lined up and ready to roll. Good thing, too. We've got to get you guys to the kennel. Oh, huh? the kennel! That's right! The vet said to arrive by noon! The k k, -k, -k kennel The vet? The Livingstones go on their summer vacation to the kennel? I thought the kennel was for pets! It is for <gasps> pets! The elves are leaving us there! That could be... fun? Did you not hear the part about the vet? The kennel is <gasps> his! <gasps> Ow. Uh. Uh. What? I didn't say we were going with them. Anyway, the kennel rocks. He'll love it. It's like a spa. You get groomed, brushed, bathed, <clears throat> scratched, massaged. We can't get groomed! They'll see our zippers! Wait, wait! What about the all-you-can-eat buffet, huh? They keep a couple of big dishes of dry kibble out all day. It's not the greatest food, but it's there. Let's go! <gasps> oh! What has gotten into you, pets? Come on, guys, we're gonna be late for vacation! Huh? <laughs> I'll take Victoria in for her first spa treatment, but you can just drop off these first-time guests in the first room for a thorough exam. Thanks a bunch. See you guys in a week. Have a great vacation. Come on, guys. Hurry up. <laughs> 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 I'll be right in. We gotta think of something. If he gives us an exam, we're goners. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. Who have we got here today? An idea! An idea! Quick! Ah! Washington, Sam, Eugenie, and Si- That looks scary, huh? Can't I ever just get groomed in peace? Not for all. Oh, did wild animals even get?
get an appointment with me. Deep breath, Doctor, deep breath. <laughs> Where are the living stones, pets? <laughs> Some very distressing news? Your pets have gone missing for the moment? Your naughty pets have run away momentarily. We are doing our best to deal with this inconvenience. Just a man to handle this situation. Uh, hello. Terrible vet here. Hey, buddy. We spotted those wild animals over by the Livingstone's house, and we need your help. Do you still have your big game net from our college safari days? <laughs> Come on, lad. Get it. It's your only chance. <laughs> Darn. It's all over. The old chap is too scared. Why, yes, I do. I'll be right over. Nothing would make me happier than to catch those petting beasts. Oh, if only I wasn't such a baby. <gasps> Duty is calling, Vladimir. But I... That's impossible, Velma. But you don't understand. I'm afraid, for dog's sake. I'm afraid. <laughs> I'm a coward. Pull yourself together, Vladimir. You're pathetic. Do I know you? It's me, Silly Susie! Oh, sorry, I'm really relaxed. You gotta help us! Animal Control have Sam Washington and Eugenie cornered, and, well, we need their costumes back where they're got us! <laughs> you, little Miss Victoria, are going home to the Living Stones. Hopefully your impressive grooming will distract them from the fact that all their other pets are missing. This is your chance, Vladimir! Be a man! And show some guts! Freeze! We've got you surrounded! You're going back to the forest! Looks like this is it, Sam. It was fun until right now, Wash. Remember that time I shoved candy up my nose and had to sneeze so bad and you guys... <laughs> And not a minute too soon. Oh. 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 Hey, hey, what's going on? came straight away when we got your message. My car! We've got to find him, Doc! But... You've got to be brave, Mrs. L. <laughs> Don't throw the nets before we see the white of their eyes! We sure had some good times together, didn't we? We sure did! Susie! Victoria saves the day. Yeah! <laughs> Quick! The suits! The suits? <laughs> 
Susie, do you have the suits? Me? No, they were with you in the cage. You must be kidding. It was our very last chance. <laughs> what is so funny? <laughs> It was easier to carry that way. Hey, what's happening? No. 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 How? Thank goodness. Oh, you said they'd run away. Uh, yes, well, they did run away, but uh, this is where they ran to. Home sweet home. Looks like they were just missing you two. We, we miss, miss them too. too. I'm so glad our kettle could bring you closer together. I hate to interrupt this happy scene, folks, but we've still got some wild animals to track and catch. Are you coming with us, Vladimir? Uh, me? Uh, <laughs> yeah, of course. Yahoo! <laughs> you know, honey... Yes, dear? Sometimes we forget just how good we have it right here at home. What would you think of a... Staycation? Exactly! What's more fun than staying right here and hanging out with our awesome pets? Yeah? <laughs> <sighs> Things I do for this family. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. This is just what I needed. A little chill time in the park. <laughs> I like to chill on the couch, but then I'm a cat. I don't really like the park or other animals, do we, Vic? <sighs> what? <laughs> come on, boy, come on. Let's play fetch. Oh, no, not this game again. I don't get it. What's the point? I know. There's not even treats. Come on, Wash. Let's go, boy. <laughs> as soon as we get back, I'm burying all the furry green balls where no one can find them ever again. Go get it, Wash! Go on, fetch! <laughs> Watch it, Washington! That's my ball! <laughs> hey! <laughs> Alvarez! I can see you, Washington. I can see all of you. And you're all coming back to the wild with me, where you belong. <laughs> fetch, wash, fetch! <sighs> fetch, wash, fetch, fetch, fetch. Good boy, Washington. Good boy. Arf, arf. As always, Alvarez, you are perfection. Woof, woof. Woof, woof. Uh, Alvarez is simply the best. Oh, but my Washington can... Alvarez brings that ball back no matter what. Uh, uh, no matter what. Ha <laughs> 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 
make Mr. L look bad in front of Mr. Snobinski and Alvarez. I just can't. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Where are you, you stupid fuzzy ball? Oh, tough stuff, Livingstone. Looks like your dog lost the ball. Not good, not good. Fetch the ball, Washington, fetch. <laughs> <laughs> really embarrassed. <laughs> I found your ball wash, and now you have to come get it from me. <laughs> Ooh, it's the pretty little house cat. She has to come too, silly little bull. <laughs> 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 I'm supposed to relax. <laughs> okay. What can we help? What do we do? <laughs> Sorry, Bashamel, that old boy. Go over there and try and cheer him up. <laughs> and Vic. You. Ooh, I know what I can do. Nothing. <laughs> I thought I saw it land over in this area, but I don't see it. Well, maybe it bounced further back. After it landed and rolled up the hill, turned around that corner with the big trees, and fell down a hole where it came out by a river, and went downstream where it was discovered by little green men from outer space. Ha ha, very funny. What is? Uh, never mind. What the huh? Mitch? Come on, we gotta get that ball back. But be careful, we can't let him see us or he'll take us back into the wild. <laughs> Are you trying to take my ball? Uh, well, technically, that's our ball. No! You can't have it! It's my ball! Mine! My ball! Mine! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. 
I'm a cat! Phew! I think we lost him. Where are you guys? That's my ball! Mine! Give it back! <laughs> Come on, Sam! Let's go cheer up Mr. L! Surprise! Uh oh! Ball! <coughs> Fudge! Got it, Holy! Go get it! Aha! Uh -huh. hmm. <coughs> um, you can keep her. Yeah. We'll take the ball. What? Are you serious? Washington? What, 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 what are you saying? You heard me. I mean, she never wants to play with us, and she never really wants to help us either, so yeah. Bye, baby. Enjoy life in the wild. Arf, arf, arf. Washington? Washington? Wash, good boy. You always bring that ball back, no matter what. <laughs> Alvarez, get ready, boy. Oh! Uh. Yeah. Uh. I got it! I got it! I got it! <laughs> no, go away! It's my ball! My ball! <laughs> You weren't really gonna leave me in the woods with Mitch, were you? Of course not. It was all part of my plan. I knew he couldn't resist the ball. I just needed a second to make it happen. Hmm. Oh, and I didn't really mean what I said. Though it's all true, but I didn't mean it. I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Not really. No, our first day. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry to disturb. We were just admiring your mangy fur. How do you do it? A special shampoo? Or maybe an ugly brush? <laughs> <laughs> I know. All we have to do is order new costumes. Yeah. What? How? On the magic screen with all the little buttons. The elves order stuff on it all the time. You mm -hmm. mean a computer? Yeah, that's what I said. Costumes. There, look! Those are a lot like ours! 
So, who's the expert, huh? Now, all we have to do is order. Error. Please try again. <laughs> error. Error. You see? Told you I'm an expert. The computer even knew who I am. <sighs> right. You just got lucky. Your order will be delivered in five, four, three, two, one. It's here. Hey! Take care of this, would you, Vic? Watch where you... <laughs> <laughs> Fine. I'll just go ahead and take care of these. Messed up the order. I've never seen anything like this in the forest. They're awesome. <laughs> we do look pretty cool, don't we? You sure this doesn't make me look too fat? Yeah. Hey, what kind of animals are you anyway? The wild. Uh, what if they're wild animals? <laughs> Ridiculous. Just think about it. If these were wild animals, we would have known them in the forest. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, that's good. Mr. Computer Expert messed up his order. Ha! I can reorder the right ones in five seconds. No problemo. Hey, oh. We're home. Quick, we gotta put the old costumes back on. Where are they? Vic? You said take care of them, so I took care of them. They're in the trash. What? Oh, yeah, that was so much fun, wasn't it? Vic, you gotta get them back. From the dumpster. Vic, please! There's no way I'm going to dirty my fur twice in the same day. If washed. <laughs> Where are the others? Don't worry, honey. You know them. They can't be far. You two stay here, okay? Sam and I are going to get our costumes. What's gotten into? It's the garbage truck. What's going on? It seems like everyone's scared of us. Of us? Do I really look scary in this thing? Scary? Nah, more like ridiculous. <sighs> yeah. Come on. Discover Stash Paste's new product by Criminus Lab. With Stash Paste by Criminus Lab, forget about your old life. The new one will be hairy and fairy. Oh, wow, that looks amazing. I absolutely <laughs> need one. <laughs> Ooh, a documentary on exotic animals living in far-off lands? I'm in. Did you see that? Wash is a lion! Shh, look! These far-flung corners of the globe are inhabited by strange animals. This nocturnal mammal who lives in the savannas of Africa... It's me! Yikes! How ugly is that thing? I can't even look at it! The aardvark returns to its burrow before sunrise and before the lion has uttered his first roars of the day. <laughs> Wush, I really think it's us everyone's afraid of. Of course not. They're scared of the driver. Meanwhile, thousands of kilometers from the Savannah Plains, the Cobra Moth flutters carefree through the jungle. Hey, that's me. This African butterfly is about to commit a fatal error. It is going to brush its large wings against the whiskers of a Bengal tiger. And that's Sam about to attack you!
on, Sam. They're gonna arrest him. Like every day, the Babarusas are playing in the mud. Breaking news, brought to you by Stash Pace, a criminous product. We interrupt this program to bring you the highly coincidental news that exotic animals from far off lands have invaded our city. Huh? It's Wash and Sam! The question on everyone's mind at this hour, can these stunning beasts be tamed and turned into household pets? What do the experts have to say? Uh, no. But that means Sam and Wash might be sent far, far away. <gasps> Your turn, coward! Hey, over yeah. here! Oh! The vet? What's he doing here? Maybe he's gonna stop the truck with that. <laughs> Wash, I don't think he's trying to stop the truck. <laughs> I don't always agree with you, but for once, I think you're right. Quick, we're heading for the botanical garden. Bird on our team. <laughs> That's the unmistakable roar of a tiger. They can't be far. I bet Sam and Wash are in there. You stay here. I'll go. <laughs> Come on, you coward. It's up to you, Vladimir. Guys! Susie! Susie. Quick. Are you nuts? The vet will send us back to the forest. The forest? With those costumes, he's gonna send you to the jungle. <laughs> Not fun for a boy and a fox. Quick, Eugenie's waiting for us. <laughs> <laughs> a fox and a wild boar? <laughs> the things you find in botanical gardens these days. Wait a sec, those are wild animals. Shouldn't we return them to the forest? Are you kidding? We're looking for a lion and a tiger. That's a million times more exciting. Are you sure you're okay, Vladimir? It can be pretty dangerous. <laughs> Your costumes aren't in here. We're done for. Game over. <laughs> <laughs> Sammy, while you guys were in the garden distracting them, I got through the truck and grabbed our disguises. All part of your plan. Right, Washington? Yeah. Hey there, guys. Did, did you see that hangry lion and that vicious tiger? Chill, guys. We scared them away. Huh? <laughs> Do you smell this? It smells like garbage. <laughs> we, we still have bear spots on our costumes. Oh. Rats, we can't order new costumes now. Mr. L's on his computer. <laughs> Hello, it's me, the bearded woman. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that face. Where are the pets? We're going to scare them. What in the world is that? The stash paste. The stash what? The stash oh. paste. <gasps> they put it everywhere. On my toys, on the pillows, and even on me. They like it a lot. Come on, let's go. Be generous. Hey, they're in the kitchen. Hello, furry. Oh. Meow. Arf, arf. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? 
Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Is this the life or what? Seriously, can you imagine if we were still in the wild? <laughs> Sleeping out in the cold, scavenging for food. Hey, where's Fake? She usually rains on our parade about now. Don't you see, Bobby? Your favorite food is eggs, and I'm allergic to eggs. We can never be together. <laughs> I don't believe in love anymore. <laughs> Guys, fix getting all worked up over a stupid soap opera. Uh, well, I've got better things to do. I think I'll go chase a flying saucer. Let's go, Wash! <laughs> <laughs> oh, Washington, you are wearing me out, buddy. Arf, 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 arf. All right, one more. Flying saucer, flying saucer, flying saucer! <laughs> That's our cue! Inside, everyone! <laughs> hey, wait for me! <laughs> oh no, my suit! I've got to get it back before someone sees me naked! Hey, you, Fox! Quick! I need your help. Darling, before I met you, I was nothing more than an ordinary brain surgeon with an evil twin brother that stole my family's fortune. But now, I'm a man in love. Huh? Why are you looking at me like that? Huh? I said, why are you looking at oh. me like that? Never mind, just help me hide. Hide? From what? <gasps> <laughs> I could have sworn I saw that pesky fox dart this way. Don't worry, they won't have a clue we're back here. What? What a beautiful ficus! Wow, yeah, but we better roll. What did you do to make those guys chase after you? Nothing. I just dug around in some trash cans and the humans got all mad. Oh, domesticated people are the worst. Well, actually, worse than a domesticated person is a domesticated animal. They are the absolute worst. Uh, you don't say. Yeah, they just lay around all soft and flabby, letting humans boss them around. Disgusting, right? Uh, uh yeah. <laughs> My name's Meadow, by the way. Thanks for saving me. Anytime. I'm Washington. Well, Washington, I guess this means you're my hero, huh? Uh, uh, Honey? Oh. Have you seen the dog? I'll go check outside. Uh oh, <laughs> humans! That's my cue. Wait! Will I ever see you again? Maybe here, tomorrow, for dinner? It's a date. <sighs> I hope this feeling never goes away. You better scram too before that human and a stupid dog get here. Oh, I hate dogs, gross. <laughs> yep, that feeling went away. She loves me, she loves me not. She loves me, she loves me not. She loves me not. What is wrong with you, flower? Loves not, loves not, loves not, loves not. Ah! Seems like you're pretty anxious about this girl, huh, pal? How can you tell? Just a feeling. It's hopeless. I can't keep up this charade. Once Meadow figures out I'm domesticated, she'll hate me. Oh, that's sad. Sorry, buddy. Can I say something here? I know, I know. You love that this is blowing up in my face. No, I was gonna say, don't give up. I mean, come on. You can't keep up this charade. Give me a break. You're the king of charades. Why are you being so nice to me? Uh, look, I don't like it either, but I need something to make me believe in love again, okay? Okay. Oh. Actually, you know, you're right. I'm me. Let's do this! Yeah. <laughs> 
I see her. Hurry! How's the makeup coming, Susie? Yeah, he needs to look like he's been out fighting in the wild. Yep, just one more touch. <laughs> We're not gonna make it. We're not gonna make it. We're not gonna make it. Ah! Actually, that looks incredible. I know. Okay, to your positions, everyone. Hello there. Wow. Hi. What happened to your face? Eh, got in a fight with another wild animal. I think it was a bear. Oh, I wonder how that bear got ketchup all over his paws. Well, I'm starving. I think I'll go use my wild animal foraging instincts and rustle up some grub. Be right back. Take it. Go, go, go! Dinner is served. Where did you get all that? No big deal. Just found some berry bushes and a couple nut... trees. Oh, I love nuts and berries. Me too. I eat them in front of the TV all the time. Oh. TV? What are you talking about? And what are these? Uh, uh, candy almonds? From a candy almond tree? Uh, well, I... Uh... Huh. Love hangs in the balance. We need to go right to the finale. You are acting very weird. Me? No, I'm not. How am I acting? Flying saucer! Flying saucer! Flying saucer! <laughs> Yee-hee! What is going on? Look, the truth is, I'm... I... A wolf? No, I'm... Wait, what? Yeah. Oh, right! A wolf! Don't be afraid. I'll defend you with my wild beast defense skills. seen a wolf this deep in the city before. Oh, no! Shh. Glad we spotted him before he did any harm. I've got to stop them! Are you crazy? Don't go after those psychos to save a wolf. If they see a wild fox, they'll throw you in the vent, too. You're right. But if I was a domesticated animal... What is that? I'm very sorry. I've been lying to you. I don't have an evil twin brother. I am the evil twin brother! Huh? No! Your mustache was the thing I loved most! Meadow, the truth is, while I'm a fox, I'm not a wild fox anymore. In fact, lately I've been living life as... A domesticated dog. What is that? I know you'll never want to see me again. I'm sorry. Love doesn't exist. What was that? Oh, look, an adorable dog! Ah, Where did you or, come from, little wolf, guy? Wolf, check his collar for an address. Yes, it's Washington. He's distracting them for us. Quick, Susie, grab the keys. Got them. Oh, he wants to shake hands. No, no. Too cute! 
love is dead. Huh? I'm a friend of Washington's. Now let's get you guys out of here. I believe in love. I believe in love. <laughs> <laughs> Meadow, what are you doing here? Well, I wanted to make sure your friends got back safe. They're pretty cool animals, although the bird seems a little weird. Yeah, she's special. Actually, the real reason I'm here is to say, I used to think domesticated animals were soft, but after I saw what you did for your friends, I realized I was wrong. So maybe, if it's okay with you, we could have dinner again sometime. Yeah? I mean, uh, sure. That'd be cool. Okay, great. It's a date. Maybe you can pick some more food from that candy almond tree. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. What's that? Huh? <laughs> if you can't beat him, join him. Shh! Don't make a peep. A little more to the right. <laughs> the best ever pet treats. Yep, this is it. Right? Of course not. Could anything that cute be dangerous? <laughs> Aww. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Look at them. They're already friends. Aww. 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 Now you guys all be nice to Baby. Aw, perfect name, honey. After all, he is just, just a, a baby. baby. <laughs> Okay, guys, we're off to work. Play nice. Aww, so cute. Hi, guys. Wow, this is comfy. <laughs> oh, what's that? It's, it's, it's a television. It entertains us. Oh, show me. <laughs> Show me! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Funny. What else? Oh, more! Not that one. Not that one either. Nope, not that. Keep going. Wrong hmm? way! Mm. Our food! 
guys have a lake I can drink? What? what? Ah. <laughs> oh, a tiny lake. Gross. What? What is why? This. What you're doing. We don't drink out of the toilet, dummy. You don't? Well, what do you use it for? <sighs> ah, yep, sure do like it here. Don't go in there. It's toxic. <laughs> hey, I love that tune. Uh, hey, Mitch, you know, Vic is a real pet, just like you and me. She's not some rag doll, she... Hmm, uh, actually, it's annoying. <laughs> she doesn't really like to be held against her will, so maybe you could just... <laughs> and that's why we never hang out. <laughs> Get them. For him. Baby's going on a grow spurt. Aww, Aww, so, so cute. cute. <laughs> oh, baby bear. Our very own baby bear. <laughs> Come on, Bush, you're the bus. <clears throat> hey, Mitch, um, uh, been meaning to tell you about some of the rules around here. Yeah, like no hugging or smothering other animals without permission. It's just, you know, so we can all live in harmony together. I'm not a big fan of rules. In fact, yuck, it leaves a nicky taste in my mouth after I say it. And together makes me feel cramped. Yeah, but Mitch, we can all... No more all. I want to be the only pet in this house. Except, of course, for little Vic. Ooh. Ah, help me. <laughs> You got till sunrise to get lost. Back to the wild, dummies. And if you don't, I'll tear off your costumes and show the humans who you really are. <laughs> Big, dumb, unbearable bear. I don't want to leave. I love walls. No more sleeping in our comfy house. No more delicious treats. Our butt scratches or tummy rubs. Is there anything we can do? You heard what he said. He'll tear our costumes off if we don't. 
Tear our costumes off, he says. Hmm. Wait! Tear costumes off! It's a chance we'll have to take! Hungry! <clears throat> oh, I forgot I ate it all! Ah! You gotta get him really worked up. Yo, Mitch! What? Why are you still here? The sun is almost up! We're not scared of you anymore, Mitch. <laughs> if you want us to leave, you're gonna have to make us. And we're not leaving without our friend Vic. No one tells me what to do. And Vicky doesn't want to go to the woods. She wants to stay here with me. Don't you, Vicky? <laughs> See? So I guess I'm gonna have to... Ah! Oh, what are you... Ouch! Oh, you really gonna get it now, you stupid... so fast. Hey, Mitch, want a cookie? <laughs> you want some more? Then come and get it! Oh. <sighs> well, 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 what do we got here? You're looking a bit lost, big fella. We're gonna take you back home to the forest, shall we? Thanks for that. You're welcome. Thank you guys for sticking up for me. You're, You're welcome. welcome. He's out of sight. It's high time he went back to the forest. We're so sorry, you guys. Poor babies. Aww. Aww. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough, so we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. favorite dish. Mr. Livingstone's too. <laughs> come on, Mr. Livingstone, come home. Now? Now? No! <sighs> Why does Mr. Livingstone go camping anyway? In the woods. Just thinking about it makes me want to store extra calories. It's a human thing, Sam. Going camping helps him get in touch with his primitive self. Hmm? His real, like, Wild self, almost like us. It still makes no sense. <laughs> Mr. Livingstone's natural environment is in front of the TV. <gasps> so lucky. Ah, it's Mr. Elf. Who is that guy? Hey, everybody. Mr. Livingstone doesn't look like that. Whoa. What in the world is this new look? Are you really my husband? <laughs> you betcha, except I feel like a million bucks. How <laughs> Mr. Livingstone doesn't talk like that. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. What is that? It's a monster! He's eating the monster! I admit, that's <laughs> terrifying. You wouldn't believe how great it feels to get back to real life. 
fishing for your food, building campfires, sleeping under the stars. I'm a new man. <laughs> really? Yep. In fact, I want to start building stuff with my hands. <laughs> uh, oh, I thought you were kidding. Of course you should build things with your hands. Of course. Hmm. Are you sure it's Mr. Livingstone? It's his voice. Are you kidding? Look at his face. It's got fur stuck all over it. Uh, what about the monster that keeps coming out of his mouth? It's like Mrs. L doesn't even notice it. But the weirdest thing of all is that costume with a zipper. You guys are right. I think he's got to be an alien from outer space. Uh, what? An E.T., an extraterrestrial. Some of them prefer to be called Martian. Huh? <gasps> oh, forget it. Sometimes I forget how you guys know nothing. But I want to know. <sighs> What's an extraterrestrial? Don't know. They're not from the forest. Hello. No. They're from outer space. <laughs> Yeah? Check out those weird-looking humans, Wash. Those aren't humans, Sam. Those are extraterrestrials. Mm -hmm. Look! Fur on their faces! Just like Mr. Livingstone! Oh. If Mr. Livingstone is an x rest doll, he might steal our kibble! No! <laughs> cool it, Sam. I think Vic is trying to take us for a ride. <laughs> Those aliens look a lot like Mr. Livingstone. I think we'd better be careful. Yeah, we gotta hide the kibble. <laughs> the kibble, Sam? That's your main concern? Didn't you see the Martians carry off that adorable family dog? Mm -hmm. But you're right, Kibble must be saved. Sam, fork it over. I don't trust it under the sofa. My stomach's much safer. Morning, everybody. <laughs> What's with them? I'll feed them. They've been acting kind of distant ever since my absence. He's looking for our kibble. Or he just wants to feed us. But Mrs. L usually feeds us. Honey, where'd you put the kibble? I could have sworn we had some. For now, they can have this. What's with you guys? It's toast. <laughs> well, as you like. Sam, no, it's a trap. <laughs> Whoa, that Martian is smart. He knows I love bread. That's just proof that he knows you, Sam. It has to be Mr. Livingstone. Well, I think he looks a lot more like a Martian than Mr. Livingstone. I agree. If we us and force us into his flying saucer. His flying saucer? Where, pray tell, is he keeping this flying saucer? Right here. Sam, that's just the shed covered with a tarp, not a flying saucer. Ah! Seriously, what's up with them? They just want to play hide and seek. Not right now, I'm afraid. I've got some building to do. <gasps> Hear that? He's working on his saucer in there. It must have gotten damaged when he landed. Okay, listen. Don't move. I'm gonna take a peek. You see anything? No. Yes, maybe. So what is it, huh? What is it? Is it a saucer? I can't stand it anymore. I have to see. <laughs> Wow, 
what in the? <laughs> it's you. Now you want to be near me. <laughs> okay, you guys were right. That is a flying saucer, and he's an alien. Run for your lives! <laughs> what in the world is wrong with those guys? <sighs> What's he doing? Snape is communicating with his Martian friends. What's he saying to them? Probably that he couldn't find our kibble, so he's gonna bring us over dinner. <laughs> <laughs> or at least me. I'm the adorable family dog, remember? You really think Martians are scared of wild animals, Wash? Of course they are. That's why they never come to the forest. Hey, what are you dummies doing? When I said Mr. Livingstone was a Martian, it was just a joke. That's what I thought too, Vic. Wash, Mr. Livingstone let his beard grow and got a new sweater on his trip. The pink stuff is called bubblegum. It's just a stage. Mm-hmm. And the flying saucer? Flying saucer? There's no flying saucer. Wash, do you realize what you're about to do? You're going to expose yourself entirely naked in front of Mr. Livingstone. Mm -hmm. Don't listen to her, Wash. The aliens have taken over her brain. Sorry, Vic. It's pretty obvious. Huh? There he is, Sam. Man your station. Honey? 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 you've been using in the shed. The fumes have gone to your head. I mean it, honey. You need some fresh air. Okay, okay. Come with me. I've got something to show you. Oh, no. We blew it. If huh? Mrs. Livingstone hadn't come home, the E.T. would have gone back to his planet. What do you think? It's... It's... A spaceship! I knew it right from the beginning! What more proof do you need? Yeah, okay. This looks very bad. Uh -huh. Truly creative! And I bet your dog here is dying to go uh -huh. for a ride. Washington! Oh, 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 no! no! <laughs> 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 Oh, I should have taken more care about the trajectory. Hey there, handsome. I was starting to miss you. Well, hello. It's my old husband. What's wrong with you guys? One would think you saw an extraterrestrial. As usual, you guys should have listened to moi. I knew all along Martians were fake. Are you sure? Come on, everyone. Lunch time. Mmm, yummy. <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Flip, flip. <laughs> <laughs> 
saw me. That was a close call. Yeah. Oh, diary. I hope you had a nice nap. Because I have a lot of secrets to put in you. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I can't tell Fluffy everything. Like how Washington drives me wild. Flying that high? She likes to peek into other birds' nests. She gets decorating tips. Ah, uh, girls. <laughs> Ouch! Huh? It better be a joke book. Well, it's got a bunch of funny pictures. Let me see. Oh. Oh. You were supposed to keep an eye on Washington and Sam. Quick, go make sure they haven't destroyed our catnip. <laughs> Wait! Hey? Wait, Washington! Uh, oh, hey, Nugget. I saw you earlier in the yard. <laughs> huh? You saw me earlier in the... Mm -hmm. Hold on. What do you mean? Don't play innocent with me. You know exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> Nugget, you're not gonna tell anyone, are you? Oh, yes. Of course. I want the entire world to know. <laughs> no, please. You can't do that. Really? Oh, yeah, of course, you're right. Because I'm a cat and you're a... Please, Nugget, this has to remain just between us. A secret. Our little secret. I'll do whatever you want. Oh, all I really want is to hang out with you, Washington. No. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, cool. A friend with me. <laughs> so, you've been having fun with your new buddy Nugget, huh? While I was all alone, talking about my favorite shows with myself. No, oh, Sam, you don't understand. I understand she's your fancy new friend and I'm just a wild boar from the woods. No, no, I had no choice. No choice. <laughs> she knows our little secret. <laughs> what? And if I don't do what she wants, she's going to tell everyone I'm a fox. And if that happens, we're all doomed. 
<laughs> but I don't want to leave, TV. Hey, Sam, what about the elves? Them too. Goodbye, elves. I love you, TV. Sam, just chill. Go play with Eugenie and Susie and pretend like you don't know a thing. Okay. I mean it. They'll get all freaked out. Washington. <laughs> you coming? <sighs> Gotta go. Oh, diary. I have so much to say today. Huh? Where is it? Diary, where are you? <laughs> What are you looking at? A picture book. A hilarious picture book. <laughs> oh, that's pretty funny. The fat cat and that weird looking dog with the hearts all around him. <laughs> it almost looks like Washington. And that cat. She looks familiar too. Yeah. My head hurts. Too much thinking. I gotta find Wash. <laughs> Nugget, why are you crying? It's nothing I've done, right? I lost my diary! Your what? <laughs> my diary! It's where I write all my secrets. <sighs> huh? All your secrets? Does that mean our little secret? Yes, especially our little secret. <gasps> <gasps> We gotta find it! But I've looked everywhere. What am I gonna do? Without my diary, it's gonna be impossible not to tell Fluffy! No, no! No! No, no! <laughs> I'm sorry, Washington. I'm very expressive. The vet said so. Can't you just express yourself silently? I would, Washington. But a lot of times my mouth doesn't even check with me before I say stuff. I can't help myself. I'm terrible at keeping secrets from her without it. If I can't, I might as well tell the world! No, 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 don't do that. We don't want the world to find out. Listen, I guess maybe you just go ahead and tell Fluffy everything. Don't you mean we? Oh, right, we. I knew you'd understand. <laughs> <laughs> No! <laughs> yeah. Hey, Wash! Sam, I don't have a second to lose! We have to go tell her sister our little secret! What? Why? Because she lost her diary! Diary? The book where she writes all her secrets! She says without it, she has to express herself yeah. by blabbing about me to Fluffy! Otherwise, she'll tell the whole world! Yeah. Diary? Nugget? Ooh! <laughs> that diary thing you're reading, whose is it? Nuggets, of course. Yeah? Yeah, it's her diary. That's why it's so funny. Nugget's diary? I need that diary right now! Yeah, right. Check back next week. Give it to me! I need it! <gasps> no way! I'm not done yet! I want to see how it ends! Sorry, but it'll end bad for all of us if I don't get this diary back! Sam, look, buddy. Not now. I... Is this Nugget's diary? Nothing about... Nothing about my costume in here? So that means... She never saw you out of your costume! <laughs> oh! I saw you earlier. In the yard. <laughs> the only thing she saw was you, waving to her. At least she thought you were waving to her. <gasps> Phew. Washington, you coming? 
We gotta do what we gotta do. Time to wake her up and spill the beans. Wait, uh... Nugget? It's always gonna be complicated between us. Let's be realistic. You're a cat. Meow, meow. I'm a dog. Woof, woof. Your sister is always going to be an obstacle between us. <laughs> I know. It's tragic. But also tragically romantic. And no matter what happens, we'll always have our little secret. <laughs> oh, Washington, you drive me wild.